What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know lately I haven't uh, uploaded a lot of uh, off-roading uh, content. A uh, few reasons, obviously, if you guys haven't heard, most of the road, the trail in Orange County, well, SoCal in general, San Medino Mountain, there's a closure up to June 30th, 30th, I believe, at the moment. So a lot of the trails that we normally go to, like Big Bear, Lido Creek, all that area, any area in the San Medino National Forest is closed until June 30th, and there's a fine if they caught you on the, any type of those trails. So... It's very limited to trails that we've been able to do. Most of the time it's going to be a desert trail nowadays. So yeah, we got a chance to go out to the desert too, too much. But I do have a uh, Anza Borrego uh, off-roading camping trip coming up. So I'll definitely be uploading that uh, content in a month or so. But just because of that, I haven't got a chance to go out. And also another reason, I just got back from uh, international travel for about a month just to visit different countries and whatnot. So I haven't got a chance to uh, do a lot of off-roading or overlanding content as you can see on the channel. But today, today we're going to talk about a little bit about gears. Um, a lot of uh, people on YouTube have been asking me all the different gears, all the camping gears that I usually bring when I come to off-roading and camping. So today I'll be focusing on just the off, uh, I'm sorry, the camping gears that I use. And with uh, camping season coming up pretty soon, I know it is already spring by the time I release this video, but it's so much snow in SoCal and other parts of the mountain, California. So I think uh, camping season is going to be delayed just a little bit, but I'll figure I'll just do a quick video regarding gears I use. Uh, in my camping experience, overlanding experience, and then a uh, few gears that I plan to upgrade and buy just to make it a little bit more comfortable for me this uh, camping season. So I'll go a little bit more information on those type of gears as well. Yeah, so with that being said, let's get into the video, guys. All right, guys, so the first gear is obviously uh, my sleeping arrangement, tent, sleeping gears and all that. And as you can see on the table, this is my tent, my uh, Gazelle T4. They have an Overland uh, addition to this. It's just a little bit better carrying case, but overall the T4 is what we need. I mean, they have the T3, a little bit smaller than this, but this is the tent that uh, I've been using for the past, I would say two years or so. Uh, I love, love this tent. It's easy to set up. I think that we can set up about a minute and 30 seconds somewhere right there. So what I love about this tent is that we have a lot of space to work with inside the tent. Uh, most of the time in the past, we have a little bit smaller tent. So when we come to changing and all that kind of stuff, we stand up and we don't have not a lot of space, not a lot of head space. But with the T4, I believe it's like a little bit over six feet at the highest uh, peak of the tent. So plenty of space for us and you can fit easily four people in here, but for the two of us, it's actually really good, a lot of space. It's actually a little bit too big for two people. I think the T3 would have been really nice um, just be, because it just fits really well into our truck, the six foot bed. But this one fit perfectly in six foot bed. I think uh, it's a little bit too big for what we need, but it is nice once in a while to have that extra space. So you, if you have kids or pets or anything like that, having the extra space, it is nice. But in, during the winter, when we go to winter camping, it does get pretty cold in there and having the heater with that much space to heat up, it does take a while. And um, so the T3 would have been perfect, but the T4 having that extra space is really nice too. So this is my sleeping gear. I have the uh, backpacking tent before. And so used that for many years when we started uh, over our overlanding trip before we bought the, the Gazelle T4. And before that, we just used a, you know, a generic Coleman four-person tent, and that was perfect. Um, so those are the type of tent that we use uh, in the past. But uh, having the T4, the easy pop-up setup, uh, make it really, really easy to just a quick, quick setup when we uh, get to our campsite. All right, for a sleeping mat, it's pretty simple. It's this uh, air rail by REI, just a sleeping pad. Uh, I really like this, how compact it is, easy to store. It fit into my uh, Play-Doh box right here. And so my wife and I have started having two of these. So we mainly uh, bought these for when we went backpacking. It's just so compact and it's easy. It's, uh, it's a mixture of air plus also 
a little bit of cushion at the same time so you can deflate it pretty as you can see it's pretty small go down pretty small uh, so definitely that's something that we have for the past year or so for my sleeping bag so all this is just my backpacking stuff I uh, figure I buy something that you know light so I can have a lot of a lot more space um, when we go backpacking so this is the down uh, sleeping bag I think it's zero degree I believe um, so it is really nice I'm sorry here it is a 20 Fahrenheit 7 minus 7 C so uh, this is by Kelty so it is a down so we obviously bought this when we for backpacking as well and we use for camping so this one is really good as well I never never got really cold um, we got down to maybe 8 degree I think one time it got down to 8 degree in the Sierras and still this sleeping bag does its job with the heater it does help though so the heater does most of the job but having uh when we go backpacking this does a really good job even though it got down to the 30s in the sierra backpacking uh this sleeping bag does a good job of keeping me warm uh, at night so nothing uh, bad to say about this uh other than try and get the uh the long one this one i believe the one i have is the regular yes yeah, the regular so a little bit less room but i think if you're a little bit taller um get the long one it should be nice and comfortable so yeah that's um pretty much what i have for my sleeping arrangement my tent my sleeping bag and my sleeping pads all right guys for so cookware it's uh pretty simple we don't have any type of cool cooking stuff when we go to open landing we just keep it pretty simple camp any camping gears uh, obviously jet boil we really like the jet boil um, we use it for many years for camping for over landing for backpacking regular camping car camping and whatnot uh, so this definitely is good for if you do a dry uh, food or making hot water for coffee for tea anything like that having jet boil sometimes small you know compact form of fuel or something like that to cook water and whatnot is really essential the only drag i have about jet boil is ignition i think this is my second uh ignition unit i'm not sure you guys can see that but this little mechanism right here this spark right here for some reason jet boil is not the best when it comes to that that thing always fails me so um, that's the only drag this is my second unit and i think it's failing again so I'm not sure i just usually just buy this top and this is fine still but uh this is the part that that failed me uh this is the second time so but it is nice to have around i mean it is what it is we use it a lot so it's something that's nice to have but that's the only drag i have about the jet ball is that ignition so this is something for when we just light breakfast something like that we will bring so the next one is just a small butane um a burner right here this is just a one burner usually we'll, we'll take this and we we'll just uh do one nighter or something like that uh off-roading or camping we do have the big one and that's the one i always carry obviously i can't bring it into this area it's just so big but that's the one we have for i believe 10 15 years already it was given to me by my in-law when they go camping a lot and so that thing has been lasting us for many many years over a decade easily so that's the one you see a lot when we use uh off-roading camping that's the the stove that we use i believe it's just a regular camp chef or something like that something really uh, like a hundred bucks you can buy anywhere so that's what we've been using i don't really get into the small compact i don't have space in my truck obviously you guys know i use my truck for work as well so it's not something i have like a pull out kitchen i don't have any of that kind of stuff it would be nice to have but i do use my truck for work so i have to be something that's compact in and out and take in and out of the truck so having just something that i can uh, take in and out of the truck stove make it a little bit easier for us when we go camping so yeah that's my uh, kitchen kitchen setup for overlanding i guess but uh yeah we, we enjoy it that's we don't need anything too crazy too when we go all overland something to cook something to grill cup steaks and cook food and stuff like that. that's all we need all right guys next up is some miscellaneous gear that i feel like is essential to my camping overlanding experience and the first is this one right here this is the light ranger by devos outdoor 
And I love, love this thing. You know, in the past, I've just had regular lantern, uh, regular stuff that you normally do just for camping. You can buy any Walmart, whatever, and it's fine. But having something on a telescopic pole to able to get it a little bit higher to get the light that you need. And this thing has a 360, as you can see, there's LED lights all around it. So it's nice to be able to have that 360 light when we go to camping, especially when you go overlanding. Um, so when you go overlanding, you go to a spot, there's not really a lot of light around uh, in the middle of nowhere, especially desert camping. So having something that can get the the, the light 360 in your camp campsite is really nice. So Devo's Light Rangers work really well. And so there's an affiliate link if you guys want to save a little bit of money to buy uh, one of these uh, Light Ranger. And there's a deal where I can I was able to get two for a good price. So you guys want a little bit more light, one for maybe near your campsite, one near to your vehicle. Having two is really nice. And you know, I usually just use one, but have one as a backup. So the Light Ranger is one of those gear that I didn't think I need, but having it now is a game changer when it comes to overlanding. Next up is the, the Jackery or any type of uh, power station, portable power station. So I have uh, two solar panels that come with it. When I bought it, it was a deal. I think it was a Black Friday. It's one of those deals. So I was able to get a discount on it when I bought it. But this is the Jackery 1000. And honestly, this is the, the most I probably need. This run me maybe five days straight without needing to charge and uh, running my fridge off of it and any type of charging. That, it, I constantly charge it when I'm on the run. So when we go hit a trail or, you know, anytime I'm just exploring, we hook it up to uh, the cigarette lighter in the car. So it trickle charge the, the Jackery. But if I go to a campsite, let's say we just hang out for the day, there's a lot of sun, the solar panels will do the job of recharging this thing and I've never never got it down to 30 40 percent it's always been like 50 to 60 percent so having a power station is one of those game changers especially when you know also, I also have like GoPro and drone and stuff like that, that I can charge off this and um, when we go to the hotel I just bring this in if we ever go on a long, long road trip and we need extra plugs we just plug the charging in uh, from the hotel into this and then we have three additional charge usb and all that kind of stuff so it's nice to have we're just bringing in a hotel we you know top this off and we are able to have all the outlets to charge different phones and uh, camera gears and whatever we need to charge off this so having this is really nice i also had a 240 a jackery 240 before it's nice for like you can charge stuff small stuff but having the jackery it's nice when we charge having a fridge or that kind of stuff. So, and obviously the other thing that's not here is the fridge. And before I just have, you know, one of those cooler, uh, the Yeti cooler, which is really nice, but buying ice all the time just uh, was getting a little bit old. So having a fridge, I didn't really think I need it, but having it now the past two years is a game changer, I would say. So there's a few companies that did uh, send uh, the fridge out to me so I'll put into the link of all those companies that you guys are able to get some discounts so most of the fridge I feel like it's about the same when it comes to pricing and what it, it, the function is so having some type of fridge where you can have you know um, cold food um, to, to cook later is kind of nice having a fridge instead of having a cooler you have to fill it up with ice all the time so having a fridge that's the other thing the gear that I thought I didn't need but uh, having it now is a game changer when it comes to overlanding, camping, and all that good stuff. All right, guys, so the gears that I plan to upgrading uh, this coming year is a uh, few, uh, few things. The first is probably like the, the mat, the sleeping mat, or the sleeping pad for my arrangement. Uh, this one, as was mentioned, works really great, but however, it's very thin. Um, obviously, this is just for backpacking, so it's light and compact. However, sleeping wise, I've realized now as I'm older, sleeping is really important. You know, when I was younger, in my teenage year, I sleep in a tent. Uh, with just my sleeping bag's fine, have no padding or whatsoever, and was fine, you know. But nowadays, it seems like I'm getting a lot more like back pain and whatnot. So, having a nice sleeping arrangement when you go over landing and going camping is so, so important. And if you have good sleep, you have a good experience overall. So I'm going to change it up. I'm probably going to get something a little bit thicker when it comes to the padding I need. 
and uh, so provide me a little bit more comfort. I think my wife got a really nice one. I think by Kelty is a little bit thicker. Uh, so she swear that it gave her a really good sleep. So I think I'm uh, upgrading the sleeping pad pretty soon this year to have a little bit more uh, padding. That way it's a little bit more comfortable when I go sleeping. Yeah, so this is great for backpacking. However, as I get older, I was mentioning it's just, it's not providing the best sleep. So this definitely is something I'm gonna be upgrading pretty soon. And the next one is probably just um, a chair. <laughs> I know this is not the most uh, ideal gear, I would say. I don't know if you consider a chair one of those gear. However, the Coleman is great um, for beginner. When you get into camping for the first time, Coleman is one of those brands that uh, for a lot of people, that's what they're uh, familiar with. However, as you get into more um, camping, overlanding, a little bit longer trip, Having something like you can actually sit down and have a comfortable position, whether that's eating next to a campfire, talking and whatnot, uh, makes a difference. Like the Coleman is great, but the back support is not the best and the way it's positioned whenever I sit, it doesn't give the best support with my back. So the, the chair is something definitely I'm gonna have to upgrade to a little bit better quality uh, chair when I go to camping overlandy. So if you guys have a chair in mind that you feel is really nice, especially somebody with back issue, let me know in the comment section below. I'm looking for something that's a little bit more comfortable. That's one thing I feel like I can splurge on a little bit when it comes to gear, just be more comfortable sitting, uh, whether you're eating and enjoying a, a campfire. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys have a camping chair you guys feel like it's really, really nice and very comfortable for camping. So that's one of another gear that I plan to upgrading this year. Uh, the other one is uh, probably just a, a headlamp. The one I have, the diamond, um, I think black diamond or something like that. Yeah, I think it's black diamond. It's great, but I want something that I can charge up. I hate using battery so much, uh, changing battery all the time. So I think I'm gonna upgrade a headlamp. But uh, yeah, that's uh, all the gears I feel like this year I'm going to be upgrading. I mean, there's a few things here and there that's always going to look into. But uh, so far, those are the three that I have in mind that I'm going to be upgrading pretty soon. Sleeping pad, a chair, and maybe a better headlamp where I can charge it. All right, guys. So hopefully that video was informative for you guys on different gears I use when it comes to overlanding and camping. And I know when it comes to gears, we can talk forever about every little gears that we use. Um, but those are some of the essential gears that I use when it comes to my camping overlanding experience. And as you see in the back of me, some of those uh, gears I have is in my planer box. So we can talk forever about it. But I figure these are some of the essential that I use for my uh, camping or overlanding experience. And if you guys saw any other gears you see in the videos, uh, other videos you guys seen, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll make sure to um, give you guys an honest opinion, honest uh, recommendation, whether I recommend these products or not. And if you guys are interested to buy some of these, I'll put it in the Amazon affiliate link. It does give me a little bit of kickback from Amazon, so it does go, uh, go towards helping the channel. So if you guys are interested to buy some of these, I'll put, in the description some of these products um, and I go to Amazon to buy some of these uh, products that you guys seen here. And then some of these company did reach out to me to sponsor um, like the fridge, freezer, whatnot, and a few other stuff. So I'll put in the description as well, things that I got a coupon code on. And uh, so hopefully it works still. <laughs> so hopefully that would save you guys a little bit of money uh, for this season to buy some of the products you guys saw on my channel. But uh, other than that, looking forward to 2023, upgrading a few items, but you know, looking forward to exploring a little bit more in the mountains. So hopefully it'll be opening up pretty soon for uh, San Bernardino National Forest. I know the Sierras, we get a lot of, lot of uh, snow. So it's gonna be, the, all the lakes will be full. So I'm looking forward to going out there and doing a little fishing, exploring, just having fun in uh, the great outdoors again. So yeah, um, thank you for watching and hopefully that will give you guys an idea of what all the gears I use. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next adventure. All right, take care guys, bye.